because the technology is changing so much, how long before you expect to see um, clients coming to you dealing with bankruptcies and restructurings in oil and gas because of the shift to electric vehicles? When do you think the market's going to start pricing that in? How many years out is all of that? Um, this is Greg. I'll just – my two cents on this were – are that as long as you have natural gas at its current low levels, it's very hard to justify um, renewables like electric, uh, obviously solar, wind. They're still done for uh, green energy purposes. They're highly dependent on tax credits. But uh, if gas ever gets up to eight bucks again, um, it's going to be a significant factor at the current prices. I'm watching it also, but I don't see it having an impact anytime soon. Matthew? I think that that whole, it's sort of the whole the move towards decarbonization is just going to uh, put continual downward pressure on gas and oil prices. And so what you're going to see is a continuation of what you're seeing now. You're seeing uh, E&P companies that are being much more careful about how much they leverage their balance sheets. Uh, you're seeing them being much more careful about deploying capital where they can get the highest payoff, uh, you know, the uh, sort of the lowest marginal cost uh, production areas. So I, I think that will continue to happen uh, as we go forward, uh, just because of the, the continual pressure to uh, uh, to reduce uh, oil and gas use uh, worldwide. It's going to, you know, I mean, that that pressure happens at a relatively slow pace, but it's it's going to be it's going to be continual. And as battery technology improves, uh, we're just going to see more, um, you know, more effort in that direction. So I continue to think we, you may have occasional price spikes, but uh, it does seem like all the factors are, are pointing towards more downward pressure over time on uh, oil and gas prices. 